Hey guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. <laughs> Somebody's shouting past. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm at Lana International Exotic Plants in Chiang Mai, and in today's episode, we're going to be doing a plant tour on rare and exotic aeroids from all over the world. In the last episode, we actually see people unboxing and styling their boots. There are a lot of plants that were sold right out of the box, so please do check out the last episode if you want to see some of these interesting plants. And in the next episode, we're going to be doing non aeroids So let's just get this started. We're going to start this episode with a bang. This is Kida Nursery from Thailand. They're one of the rarest plant purveyor that I know of in Thailand. It is insane. The booth is very, very crowded and have some insanely, insanely rare plants here. This is the Thamatophyllum angelo. We actually have this in Indonesia. This is quite, not common, but this is in huge supply in Indonesia. Variegated philodendron, gloriosum. Gorgeous, gorgeous biliotides. These are show quality philodendron biliotides. And there's some tomato phylums here, but this is interesting because it's got lime green variegation instead of the typical neon yellow variegation that they sport. I don't know the species on this one. It says, it's a, sorry, it's not a tomato phylum, it's a philodendron radiatum. I was wrong. Philodendron radiatum variegated. I know that they variegate so beautifully. This is an interesting green on green variegation. All philodendrons have a different variegation and we don't know what they are until we see them. Like this one is a birkin. Apparently the Birkin variegation is this color. At who knows, right? This is the Anthurium pedatoradiatum. First time seeing these. Quite a tongue twister to pronounce. In flower. So this is this must cost quite a bit of money. Beautiful variation too. This is amazing show. This is the oscillations. I think this is one of the only booths that display their prices in US dollars. Surprisingly, because they are a Thai seller and the other displaying their prices in Thai bot. This is a monster. Or just variegation on these. A lot of philodendrons they're coming into the market. I've seen, I think, two in Indonesia. But these are beautiful specimens. Look at that. I think the price for this must be in Thai bot. Couldn't be in US dollars. Gorgeous. These, these really blow my mind, these Birkins. Oh my gosh, they vary really beautifully, actually. Like that one there, it's actually neon yellow in color, and then they fade over time in beautiful white variegation. New, insane. This is on my list. This is Red, Red Congo, variegated. Yeah. Oh, yellow Congo, it's not yeah. red. Okay, sorry, yeah, that's yellow Congo. And you guys do export as well, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. And then this is the Philodendron Imperial Mint. Get up close. First time seeing these. This was, uh, it's got an Indonesian name, Anthurium Garuda Chorong, Aurea. I guess this is from Indonesia, but this is the variegated one. How interesting. These Monstera Mints are insanely beautiful. Look at that! That is gorgeous. Wow, it looks so opulent, so expensive, so unique. And then down below here, these are philodendron UPI variegated. This is insane. I think these are about uh, 26,000 US dollars. There's the smaller ones, there's some of the bigger ones. This one has really, really good variegation on the leaves. Oh my gosh, look at that one. When they come in, their new leaves are a little bit more like a green variegation that maybe turns into a cream over time. This is a Raphidophora tetrasperma yellow. I vlogged about this yesterday and I thought something was really off with this one because normally I, I notice that their vari variegation is white, but this is the yellow Oreo variegated and it's going for 3,000 US dollars. My goodness, this is insane. And I really love that the variegation comes in green and then it turns into this yellow over time. Philodendron Holto Nanianum, variegated. This one leaf is probably a better one to look at. The variegation up close. Gorgeous, it kind of curls in on itself. You know that the green form, like it shoots straight forward, but this variegated one is particularly a little bit more curling and floppy. 
There's an alocasia variegated. I'm not sure which variety this is, but this is uh, one of the leaves. And then that one. Look at the beautiful color on this one. And this is really cool too. Look at this one. And when you have a picture behind it, look how cute is that, right? Maybe it is an interesting idea when you have like a rare plant to have like something like a picture of it complementing it in the background to kind of double its size. There are some really beautiful alocasias that are variegated here. Wow. And this is interesting too. This one. I don't know what this is. I really don't. Looking down at the stem with the spines, this might be a Certosperma or something. But the leaves are actually a little bit velvety or suede-like, but the variegation is really, really stunning on this one. Variegated mommy, but this is all albino, right? Yeah, so okay. this is like the... Um, oh, this is the mother plant. Can yeah. I see? Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. First time seeing this. It's nice, like lime green variegation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really beautiful. Wow. Okay, thank you. This is Aquagenera. Hey, you guys arrived yesterday, right? Yes. All right. From Ecuador. Nice. And we've got some buyers here. And these are the booths. So he's, I saw him what, set, up, set this up yesterday. And there are a lot of interesting species from Ecuador. This is probably a obliqua. Let's look around. Yeah, it, this is the better way for Aquagenera. Like we've seen many, many vlogs of people shopping them in these baggies. It's easy to take out and pick out plants without damaging them. I see a lot of anthuriums. This is the villain room. Yeah, they're all tagged. I think if you check out their website, you would see what they have in stock. But they're, they're shipped here in Thailand in very good conditions. Because Thailand is actually quite easy to bring in plants as long as you have the right paperwork. It's fairly easy. So they arrive here in pristine conditions. Unfortunately, I can't say that about Indonesia. We have a hard time bringing plants in. Nifty by Luxurians, I can explain you. Yeah. So, Normally we choose the best mother plants, let's mm -hmm. say the darker ones, yeah. the darker luxurians with a dark regali. Yeah. And then we cross the pollen from here to here or this verse. Yes. And then we can get darker Baby. forms like this one here. This is Magnificum by Luxurians. Okay. That means that Magnificum was the mom and Luxurians was the dad. Okay. And always the dominant is more or less the mom. Usually, but yeah. But it gives, it gives a little bit more, uh, how do you say, corrugation and so on. So Interesting. This is, this is why we make a lot of crosses looking for the darker forms. Like, mm -hmm. like this one here is also yeah. a dark form. Yeah. This is very round. This is forgetty eye and something. For, forgetty, yeah. This yeah. is a, a straight forgetty. White stripes. Oh, it's this pure, pure straight. species. Yeah, pure species, just a selection. But this is when you have it with uh, luxurious. This is a hybrid. Hybrid, it comes always with the two names, or mom and dad. Yeah. And this is forgetty by luxurious. This is yeah. one of the darkest ones that it is. Okay. So when they are babies, they are not so dark, but yeah. as they grow, they dark. become much darker. Nice. And the dark anthuriums are definitely the thing now. Everybody like wants it darker, it's sexier. Exactly. So we are we are working always to, to, to improve, to make them easier to grow. And yeah. for that, we make a few hybrids. But cool. we also have a lot of species, botanical species. All right. That we always keep propagating species by species so we get more stronger Basically. plants. Interesting. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is Living Collection Nursery, Chiang Mai and Far East Agriculture from Malaysia. Here is the Philodendron Plomaniae var citrus. It's an oh, interesting yes. pattern on the leaves. Look at how healthy they are, oh my god. Gorgeous. Plants by Gilberto and that's Kyle over there. I saw him unpack everything by himself yesterday. I love how hardworking some of these people are. Philodendron They're kind of related to Aquagenera, Limeri, Thai. Philodendron line, line Namiai, this is cute. But it's really interesting how they were like brought in here in these boxes. I think he said it was like in transit for four days. And then now on display for people to bring home. This is really, really sticking out to me. Luxurians, I guess they're popping up everywhere. I would say that this is maybe a trending house plant that is happening now. I should probably do a, a trending plant video. <laughs> this is a Veracusum, but it's the Cobra variety. How cute! Beautiful red back. This one is really interesting. It's the Philodendron Esmeraldense, Santo Domingo. And that is Kyle. Hi. Hello. So Kyle is flying in from Canada. These are, I think, 
what is this one? Monstera spinata. This is new to me. The leaves look a little bit like an Amedrium, Zippolianum. Beautiful, actually. Top three most sought after. Plants? Yeah. Uh, War Rock, I think is... Always the classic. Yeah. It's still going on. It's still going on, I think, because it's, it's quite difficult to grow, yeah. in my opinion. So people <laughs> kill them and then want to try again and, and you know keep trying until they get it right. And they are uh, beautiful. Yeah. The other one would be the, the King Anthurium. Uh, Veitchii. Yeah, yeah. Veitchii. Uh, that one. Which is uh, much, much easier to grow. Yeah. It, it's just su such a... a It's super narrow. I can see from its young form, it's already narrow. Yeah, and it, it's got more veining than, than yeah. other ones. And then probably the third one, there's a bunch of like Gloriosum, Philodendron Gloriosum. That's still going on. Yeah, and again, because it's so easy to grow. Yeah. But people just, just love trying it. Cool, thank you. All right, so I have Green Room Ben from Australia. And this is the first time I'm seeing a grower from Australia with like an Anthurium specific background. So this is a hybrid. This is the parent plant. Uh, this is Papilluminium crossroads dresleri, uh, allegedly. It's okay. unclear whether that's a real parentage, but it's a very uh, sought after clone in Australia. All right. And then this is the other one. This is the Papillilaminum. No, wrong. this is actually Midnight Velvet. It's oh. the parentage. The parentage is unknown. Um, it's from a grower in the north of Australia who actually um, has passed away now. So okay. it was kind of. It's been circulating for the last thirty or forty. Years, but it's unclear what the parentage is. It's suspected to be a Drizzleri complex hybrid. Interesting. And the baby, can I see it? Oh, the baby's here. Yeah. You've only soft, got soft. one? I've only, well, I've, I have a couple more in Bangkok, but I brought one only for the event. Are you like a seller in Bangkok? Or? Yeah, I am. Um, oh. I, I import from Australia and sell in Thailand uh, and sell kind of Interesting. That's in, a reverse. international. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's very difficult to import to Australia. So I yeah. basically export from Australia and sell yeah. to international customers. All right. Really cool. And this is your booth? Uh, it's not just my booth, it's, it's, it's shared with my friends. Hey Kiki, okay. say hello. This is Green Room. Yeah. Hello. This is Kiki. Uh, Kiki, yeah. nice to meet you. So you guys have how many people in this booth? Uh, two of us. Two of you. Yeah. Interesting. From Bangkok. Yeah, from Bangkok. So all these plants belong to you too, or yeah, some two, a few of the, a few of them are mine, but mostly not mine. I'm guessing the anthurium. The anthurium's are mine. Everything else is uh, interesting variegation and that too. And the hoyas are yours. No, no, the hoyas. No. This anthurium. This anthurium is the only one that isn't mine. Actually, this is a papilluminium hybrid. Okay. Uh, but. It's it's a unknown hybrid. We don't know what is the the other. Yeah, these days here. the 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 hybrids it's really hard to tell. We it just is, yeah. Have to accept them for the way that they are. Basically, yeah. But it yeah. has nice. It has very nice variegation, I think. Cool. Is this a mycans? That is a mycans. Yeah, oh, that's variegated. Oh my god! Mycans. Look at this one. It's like beautiful, like sunset. It's a nice. It has a nice pink variegation. Yeah, pattern, and it's pink. It? Is it normal that they have pinks? Um, some of them. It it happens sometimes. Okay. Some of them have pink variegation, and some of them are just white. Like actually, there's. White, yellow, and and white slash pink. Okay. There's three kind of forms. Interesting. We, we have some uh, variegated, uh, yeah, Cebu blue variegated. Oh, yeah, this is Cebu blue. blue mint. Okay, interesting. And it's a good price. Look at that, 500 baht. Very, very competitive price. Of yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was the US dollar. <laughs> no. It's cute. It's put out a new leaf already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really, really cute. Very good variegation. Yeah. I'm tempted to bring some home, but I can't. <laughs> Nice. Good luck on the show. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's so nice that he's shopping. <laughs> so he just stopped by to say hello. He's a viewer of the channel. This is a Homalomina Wally CI variegated. This is the first time I've seen this. It's interesting that it curls in on itself. And the pattern on the leaves. Freaking amazing. And the price is 2,000 baht. Oh, and the name of this booth is Subsiri Interesting Aglonema pictum tricolors. They are quite beautiful specimens. This is from Indonesia. And this one, I'm guessing they're apple ballast, but I don't know. I have one. It's Homalomina army. It's, I've seen it being labeled as Homalomina frog. And then I've also seen it as an apple ballast. Let me know if you know the difference between these. Beautiful Anthurium pedata radiatum. Variegated. I think this is the second one we've seen. Beautiful Anthurium Red Crystallinum. I think this is from Dark Block. Beautifully variegated Anthurium here as well. This Gloriosum, this is huge. Oh my God. This is my hand. I'm going to take a selfie with it. There you go. This is huge. Sea Goose, and you guys are from? 
Bangkok. Bangkok. And this village dinner, what is it called again? Bernardo. 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 The name is going to be on the screen for you. But it's actually really interesting. It caught my eye. It's very simple looking, but it's interesting enough to catch it's your a eye. Form, actually. There, are oh, there, forms. there are other forms. So this is yeah. a more special form. Yeah, for me. Okay. <laughs> it really looks interesting. And the patio is red in color with a little bit of pattern on it. And the new leaves are so glossy. It's cute. This is a cute new philodendron that I'm that I'm new to. And this one is a uh, what is this one? Uh, El Choco Red. El Choco Red. Oh, and it's a beautiful one, the new leaf. Look at that. Looks like it, a gummy bear. Yeah, the electrifying <laughs> color. Of course, the underside is going to be red in color, right? So this is Amos Tan from Singapore, and I'm guessing you are Amos. Yes, I'm Amos here. Amos. Yep, I'm from Singapore. Hi, this is a cool little variegated yeah, Gloriosum. This is a mutated form of the Gloriosum that we call it Paraiso Botanica. And it's like a splash and mint type of variegation, not like the typical spot uh, variegation. And we have a very small population of the good color. Yeah. And, and we also have a, we call this the silver dollar. The silver dollar is very round and small, uh, thick, quite for Gloriosum. After once, and it's uh, shiny and shimmering in the in the light. Yeah, yeah. Do you happen to know the source? It was just found in Thailand and Singapore. Uh, we made this uh, culture by ourselves, and we reproduce uh, through tissue culture. And there's about five variants that came out. Okay. So we took a small population and propagated them vegetatively. Yeah. And here we have a small population of uh, silver dollar here. Really cute. Yeah, really cute. And this is like cute. the first batch that. Uh, yes, this is the first time we're releasing in Thailand, and oh. yep, that's. Can you spill the price? Is it? Um, we we are pricing it at um, seven thousand five hundred baht. So it's okay. about two hundred US. Okay. Yeah. Still pretty rare. Uh, but very uncommon. Very yeah. small population. Yeah. Well, look at that. It's so cute. Super cute. And there's some silver, uh, this is yes, Skindapsis platinum. platinum. Yeah. Propagated vegetatively yeah. and uh, quite unusual. Yeah, and it's probably slow growing because of the... It grows, grows pretty, pretty, pretty fast. fast, yeah. It's stunning and it's 2000, not cheap as well. Is this the new or what is... Uh, it's been around for some time but it hasn't been quite popular until recently. Okay, but they look like the Ethereum yeah. king of spades yeah. from Indonesia. They look a lot yeah. like it. Very similar. But this is so beautiful, my goodness. Look at that leaf unfurling. Yeah, I mean, uh, how do they find you on Instagram? At Amos Tan or do you have uh, like a... We have actually our page, it's called Paraiso Botanica. I and will insert that on the screen yeah, right sure. now. Yeah, and Singapore is an easy place to actually buy plants from because you guys yeah, have some really. We, we have many extreme collectors here in Singapore. Yeah, and easy to import and export out of Singapore sure. as well. This is a variegated. Yes, this is the variegated uh, Gloriosum. Yeah. Yeah, but this is the different type of variegation. So as they mature, the leaves turn slightly greener. Okay. And only the new leaves develop very good color coloration. So it's a green on green, yeah. almost. Yeah. And we have a very nice one over there. Yeah. This one, this I thought this was an anthurium. This, this is, is not an anthurium. No, this is gloriosum. Oh my gosh! Holy we crap. call these variegated uh, gloriosum uh, after our page name, Paraiso yeah. Botanica. Oh my god! Yeah. And this is the mint type. Really cool. Wow. And you have a full variegated leaf here. Yeah. This is very, very interesting for to me. Uh, caramel marble. Yeah, caramel marble. Yeah. Beautiful one over here. Also have this is a red imperial. Yeah. It, it doesn't have the sawtooth-like edges yeah. on, around the leaves. Interesting. Nice. Ingonium. I was actually explained on the screen that it was a mutated form. It's actually officially in the charts of the Syngoniums, maybe from like a T25 or something, but I really, really love And some of the leaves can look really phallic, like this one over here. And look at this one trying to unfurl, it's like flopping over. This is a very, very cute Syngonium, actually. And we just saw one getting sold right on the spot. This is the chubbiest Alocasia Jacqueline I've ever seen. That it's got very this is actually uh, the booth. The booth is in Thai language, so I don't know the name exactly. But 
are tissue cultures. Is that the right word? Tissue cultures. But there's all these plants. This is very, very inexpensive. 60 baht, 60 baht for a white wizard. And they come in these jars. It's actually quite easy to bring them back. I know I'm not supposed to say this. They even have pinguiculas. Oh my gosh. I'm really, I'm in the market for these actually. But I'm really confused because these, I cannot believe these are the pinguiculas. This is this one? No, right? Not this one, right? This is... Yes. Which one? This one? Yeah. This but they look like this? Yes. Oh, interesting. So that is the pinguicula here. Very, very interesting. Tissue culture is the future. It's gonna take over the world someday. And these are some of the ones that have adapted out of the culture. This is a bipani... Florida Beauty. Sorry, these are the Florida Beauty Mint? Is this mint or... Oh, whoa. Florida ghost, yeah. but it's gated or no? But some are a oh, mint. Yeah. Beautiful. And this was all tissue culture. Yeah. Beautiful. How much is one of these? Can I? Can I? Hundred baht. Beautiful. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Do you have uh, Instagram or anything? Yeah. Beautiful. How can people reach you? So the name of this company is Bangkok Plant. And this is their information. Feel free to pause the screen if you want to save this contact. But this is some beautiful Dendron Florida Ghost Mint and very, very good price. So these are some more. This is the Billy Thai. These are all coming from Tissue Culture. And Ring of Fire, Pink Princess, Syngonium Pink Perfection. How cute. Philodendron lupinum. This is the mature form. This is the newest leaf. It's actually really, really beautiful. Monstera burla flame. This is 173 garden. There are some really nice, variegated, rare. This is 30,000 baht. Doesn't say the species, but look at how beautiful the leaves are. Very nice mint color on the leaves. There's somewhere back there for a little bit more of an under variegation. This is the arubescence variegation, variegated. They're coming into the market quite a bit now. They used to be extremely rare. And this one is a homalomina or a schismatoglodis that is variegated. Look at the complicated pattern on these. This is the giganteum, philodendron giganteum variegated, if I'm not wrong. But this one is particularly beautiful in the variegation. Look up close at the quality of the variegation and that new leaf that's coming out. Wow. Thai booth here and they have put together a beautiful green wall here with rare plants. Philodendron patriciae here, some anthurium forgetii, very good composition. There's some beautiful glossy alocasia down below. This, I believe, is the alocasia mellow, maybe. I might be wrong. So gorgeous. The actual color doesn't show up on the screen because it's so reflective. And these are all Spiritus Sanctii in the middle of the green wall. Raphidophora tetrasperma variegated. This is really nice. They're just piling on rare plants on top of rare plants in this one booth. This little bit of trailing with these higher up philodendrons. This is Spiritus Sanctii as well. And these are uh, Spiritus Sanctii that's coming in from tissue culture. This is 7,000 baht each. And this is a Raphidophora tetrasperma, but this one is cut uh, from cuttings. Beautiful alocasia variegated. Wow. How stunning. This is the Anthurium Wendlingeri. This is actually quite rare here. Quite rare with beautiful strappy leaves. This is the booth of Michael D'Andrea from the United States and that's Irene Sechi. <laughs> she's she's talk to your video. Yeah, hang on, let me bring the mic over. So I was you can explain this. I filmed this yesterday, but you can explain it. And this okay. One, yeah. How how does it work? Alright. Talk into it. Yeah. So everybody, this plant has just won the award of I really want it but I can't afford it. This is the monster Monstera tricolor. It is uh, selling for a 1.5 million baht, which is about forty-five thousand dollars or thereabouts. So you could buy a house with this plant. Yeah. 
So, hmm. my birthday's coming up soon, Sean. And Christmas coming up soon. Yeah, Christmas, Christmas coming up. Uh, yeah. Yes, if you are struggling what to buy for me. Channel out is leafing around. It's gonna be on the screen. Yeah. If you wanna buy this? At least you can subscribe to her channel. Oh, right? I have super thanks on now. You can click and send me money directly. Oh my god, I need to do that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. You can fund our um, tours and fund bridges. Yeah, so we can afford to buy this baby here. Yeah. This is Michael DeAndrea. He's visiting from Miami, and these are these are being sold currently. Amazing. It's all in negotiation now. Yeah. I did share his story in the last episode, but I'm going to share it again. So basically, he was around the nursery in Miami looking for mutated variants and his own. And out of the tens of thousands of plants, he would find this one. This is the Simba or the Sumba Simba. It's an irrigation that is very unique out of the Thai constellation. And he was discovered in one of the nursery hunts that he did. How unique is that? So out of like tens and hundreds of thousands, you only have one that is like this. This is also an interesting one, it's a Thai constellation that is tricolor that he's discovered. So he said that hunting for plants bring him a lot of thrill, it's what he loves to do and that is actually his purchase from this trip. So he's bringing back home some plants and over there those are some plants that he managed to sell. So it's like an interesting trade to find new gene pool to collect from. And this is the booth of Takashi and Ken Young from Taiwan and I'm guessing that must be Mr. Ken over here and then this is his product i guess it's into anthuriums if i'm not wrong oh and this is the carla black eye this is the this is the mature form of the leaf this is the spedex or the flowers this is very very rare and expensive interesting so this is what one of the leaves look like yeah there are some interesting anthuriums here it says it's the black widow over here there's a bit of fungicide but that's what the new leaf looks like Interesting, this booth is really crowded. I'm guessing this is Mr. Takeshi, probably. Hello. He's doing really well. That is the Monstera Akakoyanensis variegated. This is new to me. I'm not familiar with this form. Can I see? Ah, Squammy. Amazing. Yeah, and then you yesterday had the Monstera Green Ghost. It's oh, gone. So, oh, so. Mr. Home, check it. Oh yeah, it's so cute. I I I filmed it yesterday. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. I got the chance. But it stays small. I have small one, but in Japan. It can get big. I can get big. Okay. It's slow going. Very slow. Very slow. Okay. It is beautiful. The form, the color is interesting. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah, the form and by color. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. beautiful. Awesome. Congrats. Sure. This is an insanely huge mint monstera. That's a new leaf. Look at how big this is. And this is the monophyllum unfurling with the new leaf. This is huge. This is a crazy, amazing landscaping. Uh, the name of the booth is Family Farm. This is a spathophyllum variegated. Gorgeous. Look at. Oh my God. This is variegation on variegation action. This is insane. This is a, probably a philodendron. We saw this earlier, philodendron radiatum variegated maybe. I've not seen this in Indonesia. Oh my gosh. This is a stunning stuff here. And this is the booth. The name is Family Farm. It's, they sell variegated plants, a lot of Florida beauty. This is an anthurium that's variegated. I can't remember the name. Or maybe this is a Or a symbiotium. Is this a symbiotium? This might be a symbiotium. Oh my god, this is mind blowing. Look at the variegation of these and the shape of the leaves. When syngoniums become mature, they become the five leaves. It can even become seven. Point. Stunning, absolutely stunning. And it's very difficult to care for it in a way that there's no damage or any imperfection on the variegated portions of the leaves. Stunning. And here, this is a Spatophyllum Mauna Lua. This is actually very beautiful. Gorgeous. It's a. 
Stand back there, look. Oh my gosh, this looks like somebody's wallpaper. Like if you turn this into like a bedroom wallpaper or like a painting, it'd be amazing. Well, Florida Beauty at Insoniae. This is the Monstera Peru variegated. It's getting very, very loud here. And this is the white mint. Stunning. That one has nice, nice variegation. This is Punsin Garden from Thailand. She's also a YouTuber and a designer. She makes all the furnitures here. And she's the, one of the rare plant collectors and sellers in Thailand. She's interesting. I think this is a Sharoni Eye or a Sharoni Eye Mosquera. New leaf coming out. Which I think I will visit someday. Look at the flowers. Gorgeous anthuriums and I episode episode I did share how she kind of styles and dresses up her booth. This is really beautiful with that light over it. Beautiful play of light with the dark leaf anthuriums. How nice. Look at those roots. They look a little bit like the orchid roots. It's like really clumpy those roots oh yeah it's much better viewed from up here this is an interesting anthurium <laughs> it does really look more like an orchid anthurium new leaf coming out how nice that burgundy against the stark contrast of this royal dark very dark green we saw this yesterday but i couldn't make it. so i'm just mint maybe but i've not seen this variety before i've seen the gabby the cream it's actually a head or not but this one is completely everywhere here so I guess this is not that rare it's also a very very good price for this and this is a, another one that used to be very expensive this is an epipremnum marble if I'm not wrong but it's now 300 baht this here is also very interesting this is this is new to me. This is probably an epipremnum. That is a philodendron, if you can tell. This is an epipremnum. And it's got really interesting green on green variegation. I've not seen this before, actually. I really haven't. This is interesting. 500 baht. Then I say Monstera, Peru, or Carcentian. Liqua, 1,500 baht. A lot of Monstera Edinsonii, variegated. This, this is actually very expensive in Indonesia. This is the Philodendron Burl Marks Mint. Amazing to see them in a full pot like this. Usually in Indonesia we see them in smaller pots because it's still quite new to the market. But this is actually really, really beautiful. Monstera Mint. Quite a lot of Monstera Mints here. I'm missing. Beautiful Spatophyllum, but this is the yellow variegated. I don't think I've seen this before. This is really, really something. And I believe the Spedex also does come in variegated. This is pretty wild. Oh, how I wish I lived in Thailand. This one is that head raisin that we saw earlier, but this is a more fuller pot. This is really, really stunning. Philodendron Florida Bronze. I think this might have between Philodendron Florida Rose and maybe the Black Cardinal, if I'm not wrong. And then there are some over here. It's the philodendron cherry red mint. It's a beautiful new leaf. One for you. There's quite a few of them in stock. And that one with the new leaf just unfurling. That's beautiful. Look at the color on that. And the contrast with the older mature leaf that's green. This is pretty fantastic. This is a really beautiful variegated skindapsis. It's hard to tell what the parentage is for this variety. A lot of anthuriums here. I actually came here about six months ago. I did not see that many of these hard shaped leaf anthuriums. They caught on really fast because for the Thailand market, the type anthurium is like popular. Beautiful way to display plants. And I must say that Thai people have the best knack for visual styling, for merchandising. Some interesting species. I don't know. So it is some kind of variegated skin depth. Let's look at the new leaf. The new leaf is amazing. This is a thousand baht. I don't even know what they are. This is nine thousand baht. I bet these are all skin depths. 
And this one is really, really beautiful. Look at that. And there are more over here. Some green ones. But they're actually beautiful, even though this is green. Look at that. The price is 5,000 baht. This is pretty expensive. This is a Skindasa's tricolor. I don't know why this is so stunning though. Look at the outline on these. The silver outline is amazing. And then there's some Monstera. Alright, is this Skindap? This is a Monstera Dubaya. Or this is a Skindap, is maybe a tricolor. I don't know what this one is. Oh, nice. Very interesting. This is also an interesting depth. Gorgeous. Extreme. You see the spark. Such a nice setup. This is How beautiful. This is the pterodactyl. Very gay. Really mistake created all this. When I saw her yesterday, she was working for hours and hours making this happen. Look at how beautiful this booth is. Meticulously designed and the furniture is from Chiang Mai. But yeah. she designed it and it's yeah. made here. Beautiful. And you're also a fashion designer. Yes. I can tell because you have a good sense of style which works with the plants as well. And my logo, I designed my myself. Oh my, cute. And you are in Bangkok? Yeah. Can we visit you someday in Bangkok? Yes. Oh my god. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, I will contact yeah. you. Hopefully we can visit yeah. and, <laughs> and look at your collection and, and the way that you display the plants even yeah. more. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And this, I saw them put up uh, this Monstera yesterday. I think this was a Dubai. The way they put this on the pole. And it's still alive. But look at that. Wow. And she has a nice here. So, yeah, if you're a, a freak. Indonesia or Southeast Asia, there's probably some. This is a beautiful tote bag. So, like, it's an interesting concept to turn plants into like a lifestyle of like being in one, being in harmony with the furniture, being in harmony with what you wear, and conscious about the lifestyle. This is quite amazing. This could work also as a terrarium. This is Mundi Flora Farm from Ecuador interesting anthuriums here and let me see one stand out to me forget it keep, keep forget it it's like perfect shaped and this one it's a real anthurium as well very phallic looking leaves and these are again just flown in as well i don't see let me see the eye it's the anthurium trun trunky trunky cola aff 15 this is really really good a lot of these South This is Anthurium. Uh, sorry, Garum small, and it's already put out these roots. It's propagated itself in the in this contraption. Super cute. Veggie eyes. Let me check out the price for you. Just out of oh nope, no price. Oh, hang on. The price is. A thousand baht. This is very, very, very good. This is a cute little, I think, philodendron. I think. Philodendron patriciae. But this one's really, really an interesting one. I've got one. It looks a bit different than this. I guess a lot of the plants, they do dis display different forms. This is probably a veracusum or a charcoal red. Maybe a charcoal red. Yeah, it's, sorry, it's luxuriance. I'm, I'm proven wrong again. 2300 baht. Luxuriance var red. So I guess this one is one that has 
red underside. This is so cool. The philodendron luxuriance, I think it's, it's quite trending right now. This is probably the SP Columbia. Also pretty trending, if I'm not wrong. Sorry, this is the Plomania. <laughs> Plomania type something. It says, this is philodendron Plomania type. It just says type. I don't know what this, this is quite curious as well. I really like the red spots here. I wonder if these are the extra floral nectaries. I wonder. Philodendron subhaspatum, what? I have these, but this does not look this sexy. Look at the leaves on these. Mine does not look this good. I guess the grass is always green on the other side. Huh. That's cute too. I think that's an Anthurium draconopterum in, in her hands. Yeah, it's really nice to see people interacting with the plants them out this is a really happening event look at the look at the crowd here there's a lot of people from the international market as well I know some Indonesian buyers are here a lot of Indian buyers and they, ha they are some of the larger buyers at this event a lot of Malaysians as well so you can reach them out here yeah on Instagram right on the thank you so much this is so helpful so this is Thai exotic greenery and this one is an uh, Anthurium luxuriance, luxuriance. variegated. I like. I cannot even speak it because it's so rare. I can't. The words just doesn't come out of my mouth. This does not compute. How is this even real? Oh, look at this leaf. Oh my God. Wow. This is insane. And it's two million. Watt. This is insane. This is uh, what is this one? The Modophyllum salum variegated. Interesting. I believe this may be reclassified to the Biopina tifidum. It could be. Or maybe there is a salum variety. But this is the variegated. Yes, yes, I will. Yeah, if you you can see your hand. It's like, it's, like, it's a glass. Really beautiful. Thank you. And the price is quite good. Is it 30,000? Yes. It's special and rare plants. This is a uh, Philodendron martianum variegated. Beautiful flag leaves. I've seen a few of them but not ones with this kind of flag variegation. Some cute little black cardinal variegated, uh, right? No, imperial red. Right. Oh, sorry. Imperial red. Are these coming from tissue culture or yeah? See them this small and this perfect condition. They're usually from tissue culture. This is a green Congo, maybe. No, this is uh, Birkin, Birkin variegated. Birkin variegated. Actually, I'm just or starting to see new... This is quite new. Yes, this is quite new. This is also Aurea variegated. Yeah. Is the Birkin variegated discovered in tissue culture? I think yes. They are, right? Amazing. This is my first time seeing them. I think most of variegated and is from tissue culture. Uh, like the Bilia Thai as well? Yes. And in Thailand, usually, they find it, right? Uh, no? This is a Milano Christ variegated. Insane. This is crazy. This is also Milano or uh, no. Mykens? Oh my god. It's pink. This is the Mykens. This is also Mykens. Oh, this is so different. Uh, sometimes it's environment also and sometimes it's different than yeah so different color different pattern also and my consider more like it'll be more red usually right yes i think also true for most of the plant that got black leaf yeah this is this is raffida for us no uh monsella lechiliana oh my god okay monsella like like red yes but the, the, they do but really long time and you have to go to Yeah, I will Google the mature leaf to see what it looks like. But this is what the juvenile looks like. Very cute, very nice variegation on these. Very uniform. All the leaves. Oh, that's the... Okay, let me show you that on the screen. This is the mature form. Beautiful. It does actually look a little bit like a Raphaelora, a little bit. Yes. But it's uh, Monstera. It's Monstera. Monstera are from South America and yes. Raphida Forest from Asia. Yes. Some Anthuriums here. Do reach out to them. If you, again, this is the information also on Instagram. Reach 
And you guys export as well? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Okay. Some cute, glorious, some very, very. Oh, that's a mint variegation. Like a lemon. Uh, some lemon, but actually it's a mint, mint Okay. Uh, you can see like, uh, like this, it's a uh, highly reverted back to yeah. green. And, uh, but they're actually mint, actually, if you yeah, look at yeah, the yeah. rest of the leaves. Yeah. This is crazy. And this yeah, is again this discovered in tissue culture well, uh, maybe no. From cutting. From cutting. I yes. think, I think, so we bought, we imported a lot of florists from last yeah. year from, from Ecuador and then some of them got uh, the, this minty leaves yeah. and then from this that, cut. yeah, maybe one mother hand and it propagate. Ah, that's yeah. crazy. And it's a beautiful cyanestrum cordifolium, yes. variegated. 15,000 15, for this one. This is actually really, really, really beautiful. It can get um, big, like clumpy, and it will produce a lot of babies as well. This is a really, really nice plant. Stunning. And as a disclaimer, this is an aeroid episode now, but this one is not an aeroid. But everything, <laughs> everything that we show in this episode is aeroid. This is a Jack, Alocasia Jacqueline very gay. Oh my gosh, holy crap. Uh, this is Scalpam. Alocasia scalprum mint. Yes. Oh then my goodness. Like it. Kupria. Oh, Kupria. Kupria, where you get it. I'm like putting my mouth in shock. Right now, this is actually really beautiful. Look. It's got these white portions here. And then it's this. God. There's so much here. To see. Even this one, anterior papilla. What the hell? This one. From Okay, yeah, this is also mint and theo. This is blowing my mind. I, I'm, I'm from Indonesia and a lot of anthuriums do cut. We have a mint every 10 minutes in Indonesia. Yes, it's I a know. lot of, <laughs> but I've never seen mint. I've yeah. never. It's not from Indonesia. In the from Thailand. Thailand. From Thailand. How, yeah. to, how, do, how was it discovered? Take the, I think the, the garden uh, spout a, a lot of crystalline. Yeah. Maybe 10 minutes to get a few with uh, honey. Yeah, and you know what's going to happen next? Variegated. That's going to be easy. Yeah. <laughs> and this one, I oh think, my gosh. Um, it will produce a good inflorescent mm. for other areas. Mint. It has yes. like, oh, it's going to be so funny. Oh. So. Mint so this is a gloriosum that is oh. mint or not? No, no uh, not a mint one, but with a red stem. Okay, yeah. beautiful. This one, uh, but the leaves is insanely beautiful too. Look at that. Yeah. And then the patty. <laughs> Interesting. What do you call this? Just glorious some of the red stem? Yeah, red stem. Is this a name? Normally, it's, it's green. Yeah, normally it's green like that. Norm normally it's green like. That. Yeah, my gosh. And then, and then the, this one, uh, some of them, when they just like. Uh, when the new leaf just emerged, right? Yeah. There is a pink, pink vein. Down the middle? Yeah, in oh the middle. My just gosh. like red crystal in now. <laughs> but some really of sunny. them, so this one is like really stand out. Yeah. yeah. And Glorious is also a plant that is always popular right now. Even like <laughs> other plants that, other plants have come up and then they come down, but Glorious is always just around. Look how beautiful they are. And they are. There are a lot of um, variety, yeah. different patterns, different color. Imagine if you have one of each. It's like just like people like with each um, individual like like personality, Correct. right? And each has slightly different form and yeah. shape. Actually, I saw a booth over there with like tissue cultured gloriosum. It's cute when you have them in a few full like clump. Beautiful. Imagine like your living room like that with like just and this oh. bowl, very big. Yeah, yeah. And they're not hard. They're they're considered easy, yeah. easy I'm philodendron like to care for. Wow. My gosh, thank you so much for your time. This is amazing. A good discovery. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Actually also mint. Oh my gosh, okay. Mint varicusum. Yes. This is so interesting. I mean the, the leaves look default. This is uh, oh, cute. Uh default when it's a small. Small. Leaf. And then the large one is, is like this. Yeah. I think this varicusum too. 
really really interesting and the uh, signature patio yeah. so yeah this is definitely a very custom but a, a really really interesting specimen yeah. so this is mint or green on green uh, mint look up maybe. Yeah. yeah so this is the older leaf it becomes a little bit dark yes. it also depends on the climate you call them Deliciosa aurea mint. Deliciosa. I'm trying to digest it. It's a, it's a del delicious monster. Um, Monstera aurea. Deliciosa aurea mint. So it's yellow variegated and mint. Yeah. yeah. So it's not. How do you tell tell it apart? It looks maybe it's it's a little bit more creamy than the regular white mint. Yeah. Gosh. And then when, oh, when, this is crazy. When you, when 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 it has a new leaf, yeah, it's it's it's, it's not white. It's 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 creamy yellow. Interesting. Yeah. And is this discovered in Thailand as no, well? No, this is imported from Mexico. Oh my God, you guys yeah. are. <laughs> and I, so I, the, I the, bought I bought this one. The mother plant, yeah. they got Thai color. The green one, the yeah. mint, and the light mint. Yeah. Actually, you can see it from this leaf. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 beautiful. It's a Thai color. It's a Thai color. A normal green. Yeah. Green. Uh, mint, and then you got white mint. Yeah. Three color in, in one plant. This is it's crazy. It's a like, color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very interesting. But the new one look like this. The new leaf. Still got... Um, uh, actually, when, when the new leaf emerge, it's totally... This, this one totally... Uh, and okay. Then, and then some part gonna go more green. Yeah. Some part stay like so this. Yeah. But this color, I think, I think there's no, no. No more dark green. Yeah, no more dark. Only, so you only have like these two tones. I over think. Here. Yeah, I think only two tones now for this yeah. one. Yeah. Interesting. But I think maybe three tones. Some yeah. some may have the three tones. Some yeah. have the. Yeah. Okay. It's normal for very good fans. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. You guys are risk takers, so you guys collect like yeah. the rare. This one uh, we bought 1.5 million baht uh, ah. last year. I think last two years or last year. Oh my gosh! Yeah. You <laughs> really expensive. Wow. And we bought a big pan. Yeah. Shipping itself cost cost us and like more really than two hundred. Know if it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, scram or not. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's really risky. Yeah. You guys, good job though. Good job. This yeah. paid off really well. Yeah. No, still, still not yet. Not yet. It will. It will pay off. I'm pretty. Sure. Else, because you have to be like the leader. You have to take the risk and, and then lead the market. The stock. A lot of other yeah. sellers. Because at this point, people buying this probably gonna be sellers also. Yeah. Right. O only some collectors or rare collectors. Just bought one from one piece from us. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. This is like a signature Monstella from. Nice. Thank you for sharing. Wow. This is from Rockslip Plant and Accessories. They actually show in Indonesia. And then these are some really cute Alaska black velvet, I think. Variegated. Really, really beautiful. Look at look at the leaves. It looks like I don't know how to describe it. It looks very playful actually. A lot of skin dapses, I guess. We're not going to delve into the skin dapsis because we covered that a lot in our Indonesian plant tours. So really quickly going to browse through the skin dapsis here. Monstera mint. Beautiful epipremnum here. Look at that. It's all half black. How beautiful. So happy to see this. This is some being sold as an aglonema variegated. Here, that's an Aglaninima rotundum that's variegated. Cute! Congrats! <laughs> Colocasia, this one's variegated. This is also really beautiful. This is, I believe, an Alocasia. Look at the variegation leaves. Yeah, so this is a specialty in Colocasias, I believe. Here. This is a beautiful Colocasia. Look at that leaf over there and that one back there. This is our old leaf, but look at the, the variegation on these. Stunning. These are the babies. 
so fun. Pink surprise. Yes. Pink surprise is cute. And these are the babies, yeah? Down below. Really, really cute booth. There's a lot of variegated ones back there too. That one is beautiful. Yes, this is the purple and 15,000 baht and the name of the store is, unfortunately it's not in English, but here, here's the name of the store. Interesting, look how the cages are actually popular here in Thailand. Beautiful. It's really nice variegated. Beautiful, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Variegated bulldog. <laughs> Say hi, robot. Hello. Say hi. Very <laughs> shy on, on camera. Ah. Growth business. So they have a lot of interesting variegated plants. This is the Pink Princess, the 122 baht. I actually really enjoy seeing them in, in this sterile condition with this kind of lighting. This looks to me like a Jose Buono. It could be something else. These are, are I think, carnivorous plants. I see the little, little, I don't know, frills around the edge of the leaves. And then what else is there? I think these are Thai constellations, are they? No, I think philodendron white or white princess. They're really coming into the market quite a lot. These tissue cultured variegated plants and there's some more over here I wish they labeled the species ID but it's not really on the bottles but here are probably some that were acclimatized out of their vessels this is some alocasia that's variegated so a lot of the variegated plants are really really coming in from tissue culture these are Thai constellation 850 but it's not expensive at all. Alocasia Watsoniana. And it's actually good to see them come out in tissue culture. Some of these were actually heavily poached from Indonesia. This is the Faculty of Agriculture, my university. Some interesting plants here. This looks like an Aglonema rotundum X pictum, but I've not seen one this big before. The leaves are actually huge, and this is a bit wavy. The one that I have is actually really flat on the leaves. So I wonder if maybe this is like a Thai variety because the one that I have is probably an Indonesian one. This is Tassin's Craft Garden. This is amazing. So they have Thai constellation here and this one's called Treasure. Beautiful. This is our new mutations found here. And this is the Legacy. So there's two found here. Insanely beautiful. There's a lot of like minty looking texture on the leaves. Feel free to reach out to them, but the creme de la creme. Look at this one. This is an Aglonema Siam Aurora. Very gated. Very expensive. Very, very expensive. But look at the beauty on this. Oh my goodness. This is blowing my mind. And yes, Aglonemas are aeroids. Don't forget that. There are some baby Monstera Thai constellations. This is a Philodendron Serotum Yellow Mint. That's crazy amazing. This is beautiful. Yeah, look them up. But they were actually explaining that a lot of these were found in tissue culture, these variegations. And they're like literally one in like 10,000 that you can find a variegation like this from tissue culture. Culture is bringing us some really, really interesting variegated plants. Philodendron micans, I think. Beautiful. This is the name in Thai. Unfortunately, I don't have the English name. But look at this one right here. This is my hand for comparison. Beautiful Colocasia. This is a pink star. It's um, standing above my head. So it's maybe like 175, 178 centimeters tall. And the pattern is so stunning. Look at that. And this is, I think, the baby. 100,000 baht. This is very, very expensive. But this is looking so good. This one's here too. Look at that. Stunning leaves. Unfortunately, the one thing about Colocasia is that they do reproduce really, really readily, even though they are hybridized easily. But they put up pups 
really fast, so the prices tend to come down quite quickly. So it's actually a gold rush for color cages. Like you really have to buy them uh, when, if, when they're rare and multiply them fast and make a quick earning before the, their prices fall down too much. There's some more over here, some color cages. This one's beautiful. I don't know the name on this one. But again, they are hybridized quite easily. Now there is a Colocasia competition going on here, which is really mind-blowing mind because Thai people really love their Colocasias. Look at this one here. This is beautiful. Unfortunately, we can't find most of these in Indonesia. I don't think there's like collectors. I don't think there's a huge market for Colocasias, but they are really, really insanely beautiful. There's many varieties and like insane variegation. And the thing with Colocasia is that they do tend to put up pups like crazy. This one has born many, many babies and probably more to come along the way. This is really, really stunning as well. Beautiful, look at that. And this as well. And that one back there really stood out. I can't really get close. I don't think I have permission, but it looks kind of like, I don't know, like a Paris au Verde almost, but prettier. And then this here, this is amazing. This one leaf is damaged, unfortunately. But let me look over here. There. Look at the complex variegation on the leaves with that little bit of pink dot in the middle of the leaf. This is quite wonderful. Actually, colocasias, I must say, they do variegate rather beautifully. This, this looks really good. Especially that, that leaf over there. This looks amazing too, look at that. I don't know half of these names. I really don't, but there's a new leaf that's unfurling. And that really, that pink dot in the middle, that really makes a hell of a difference. All right, I guess that concludes our aeroid portion of the tour. To see the non-aeroids, please stick around for the next episode because there's some really, really interesting, there's some succulents booth behind me, a lot of ferns. A lot of really, really interesting endemic Thailand plants that I really wanted to show you. So check out next episode and I hope that you guys are staying well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.